Hey everybody, Tom Jackson here at EquipmentWorld.com. You know, you hear a lot about autonomous cars in the news these days, and unfortunately a lot of that news uh, tends to be negative. That's unfortunate. It's an interesting technology. Uh, but what may not work very well for autonomous cars is actually almost perfect for the heavy construction industry. Uh, heavy equipment doesn't move that fast and it usually uh, works in a, in a large field where there aren't that many obstacles. And there's a bunch of things you can do with autonomous control of heavy equipment machines that could be beneficial to contractors in the future. So as a result, a lot of, uh, a lot of OEMs are chasing this, uh, this idea pretty hard and fast. There have been uh, autonomous mining trucks since about 2008 and several manufacturers have shown us demonstrations. But I had the uh, opportunity to go to Korea back in November and see uh, a demonstration of Dusan's Concept X autonomous uh, equipment technology. And I shot some video of it and wanted to share that with you today. So, uh, one caveat here is the machines we're going to be looking at in these videos are actually uh, existing uh, Dusan machines, uh, late model machines, that have been wired to do the same things that the futuristic machines will, will eventually do. But these are existing machines wired up as a proof of concept for uh, Dusan's Concept X system. Nonetheless, they're run without operators. According to Dusan, a full implementation of this technology in their existing machines probably won't happen until about 2025. Uh, but nonetheless, Dusan's got a fully realized concept that has a very comprehensive solution. It includes uh, uh, n autonomous equipment, uh, a 5G network, 3D drone scanning, image and obstacle recognition, cognitive control technologies, workload estimation and assignment, and failure prediction technologies. So at the start of the Concept X demonstration, the drone flies over the site to, to shoot GPS coordinates and wake up the machines. In the demonstration, the machines will start out with an operator in the cab, but the fun starts when the operator parks his machine and exits the cab. As soon as he's safely off the site, the excavator's autonomous technology fires up, the machine starts maneuvering alongside the berm. Sensors in the excavator tell it where to dig, how much to dig, and exactly where to dump the bucket. The first task was given to reposition itself and dig a trench. Now because the excavator's instructions are to dig a precise flat bottom trench, you'll notice that it starts with a full bucket, and then each subsequent bucket takes out less dirt once it's been established uh, that the grade and depth are correct. The next task is to load an articulated truck. GPS sensors inform both machines of their locations and algorithms coordinate the positions for precise loading into the bed. Now, as you hold your breath watching this, uh, this bucket hover over the truck, I, I don't blame you, but if you notice, the bucket comes pretty close and never actually hits the truck. In fact, uh, it dumps uh, the load precisely in the middle uh, of the truck, which is exactly what you want. And that's thanks to the positioning sensors, the GPS, and the algorithms that make both machines understand where they are in, in time and space. One thing you'll notice, however, is the articulated truck in this demonstration is a manned vehicle. That's due to Korean laws about having operators in trucks. But Dusan tells me they are working uh, for, on an autonomous, uh, completely cabless uh, sort of truck uh, for the future. Next up, an unmanned wheel loader finds the pile, fills its bucket, and dumps a perfect load into the waiting articulated truck. Again, notice how close the boom of the loader comes to the side of the Arctic without actually touching it. Another interesting maneuver with a loader was when it took a full bucket of material around a corner and dumped it precisely on the ground. You'll see that yellow stripe that's painted on the ground. That was a signal to the truck to dump uh, its load right there, and as you see, it does it perfectly. And of course, at the end, um, because this is Asia, when the machines are all done, they come out in front of the audience and they give us a bow, which I thought was kind of a nice touch. Dusan um, did tell us, or they actually did show us uh, some models of some machines that could become uh, the designs for future cabless uh, machines, specifically an excavator, a wheel loader, an articulated truck. So these were just static displays that they had on hand. I took a few pictures of these just to, to stimulate your imagination to see what you think. Uh, again, um, these aren't commercially available. Dusan hasn't said whether or not they will build cabless models like this in the future, but it's certainly something to think about, and, and you've got to admit they're pretty cool to look at. I mentioned the drone is a key element of Dusan's Concept X, and what's even more interesting is Dusan has created a UAV that's powered by a hydrogen fuel cell. 
According to the company, this ultralight fuel cells pack in more energy and provide greater range than any other power system for drones uh, currently available on the market. And a backup battery on these drones will provide redundancy for flight operations and an emergency landing system. So why autonomous? Inevitably, the first complaint we get from people when we talk about uh, operator-free uh, machines is that you're taking a job away from somebody. And while that's true, uh, we need to elaborate on that a little bit. Uh, the first thing is, um, number one, there aren't enough operators to go around as it is now. Uh, number two, we're not going to probably get any more operators coming into this field uh, for a variety of reasons, despite the, the best efforts of Mike Rowe. As autonomy becomes more prevalent in our industry, the likely scenario is that operators you do have will wind up supervising, in a sense, several machines. One person would run two or three machines, and it's possible that one person could run an entire job site. You might work something like an air traffic uh, controller, perhaps. So your operators are going to be moving from low-value use of their time to a very high-value, high-tech use of their time. And that by itself could attract a, a new breed of workers to the construction industry. And of course, there's safety aspects that have to be mentioned. Having fewer people on the ground, machines with proximity sensors, and all automation uh, safety protocols means that you're going to have fewer back over accidents, near misses, and all the other stuff that comes along with job sites with many people, many moving parts, and a cacophony of um, backup alarms. So one other feature I thought was interesting, one of the uh, American contractors we were with in, con in, in Korea pointed out uh, a big benefit. He told me with an autonomous system like this, he could run machines on a pipeline job two or three shifts nonstop and all the usual stop-start elements that happen on a typical job site would be eliminated. Things like lunch breaks, things like uh, shift changes, things like, um, you know, just people having to stop their machines to coordinate with the supervisor or have a meeting, a safety meeting. Uh, those sorts of things just stop. The only thing you would really stop the machine for was to refuel it and maybe put in uh, additional dev. So imagine you're on a pipeline job and you've got miles and miles of pipeline to do. Instead of all this stop-start work, you just set your machines up, you set the GPS, you plug the program into the drone, it tells the machines to go, and the machines run for 48, 64 hours, three or four days nonstop, uh, just uh, as long as you need them to, uh, with one or two guys supervising the whole site. So think about that for a second and then you begin to realize uh, why so many of the OEMs are, are looking at autonomy and why it's uh, an important uh, design change for our, our, our industry. Okay, one final thought. I, I stopped at the airport bookstore in Seoul and, and found these two books. Uh, AI Superpowers, China's Silicon Valley and the New World Order by Kai-Fu Lee. Um, and then the Fourth Industrial Rev by Revolution by Klaus Schwab. And, what these books talk about is exactly what we've been talking about in this video. They're talking about artificial intelligence, computer-controlled machines, machine learning, position sensors, autonomy in machines. Uh, all these things are, are happening. Uh, they are being explored by multiple industries, and the construction industry is just now waking up to it. Um, but if you're interested, these would be good books to read. And I also thought it was interesting that um, in most American airport bookstores, the, the business uh, books that you see are typically focused on management, self-improvement, motivational topics. But uh, in Korea, in the English language section of the bookstore anyway, this is what the guys are reading. And uh, they're working really hard on this stuff. They've gotten to the matter of, at hand. And I think uh, everybody in this industry do well to start studying up on it because it's coming around the corner pretty fast. So if you're interested, Check the books out. Um, I also wanted to remind you that Dusan does have or will have uh, several elements of the Concept X technology uh, for uh, viewing and demonstration in their booth at Con Expo. Uh, if you're at the show, stop by and see for yourself. Uh, the booth is shared uh, with uh, Bobcat and Dusan Portable Power. It's in the North Hall, uh, booth number N1001. And as you stop by, check it out, ask them some questions, see for yourself. This stuff is coming, and I think you'll be really intrigued by what the, the possibilities are. Thank you so much for watching Equipment World. We appreciate your time. If you like this video or found the information inside of it useful in any kind of way, do us a favor and hit that like button below. And if you want more videos on construction equipment, work trucks, and pickup trucks, hit the subscribe button below and turn on notifications so that you're getting up-to-the-minute alerts whenever we drop a new video. 
Thanks again for watching and we will see you next time.